Hey, it's Derek from Ideal Body, and today I got a 10 minute workout that's gonna help you burn belly fat fast. Let's do it. All right, so I got a 10 minute workout for you here that's gonna help you burn belly fat fast, and there's no equipment, you can do it right at home. Very simple, very easy to work it into your day. Now, if you wanna get a little faster results, you can do this on an empty stomach first thing in the morning because it helps your body use your stored fat for energy instead of calories, carbs, and sugars. So you actually start burning the fat off your stomach, your love handles, your butt, your thighs, wherever you tend to hold the fat. You can start burning that off for energy in your workout and it helps you get even faster results. So we got four exercises. We're gonna do it for 10 minutes and I'm basically just gonna go through and show you each of the exercises and demonstrate it for you. And then we'll do a round or two together so you get a feel for the workout itself. So exercise number one, we're starting with body weight squats. So we're hitting the lower body first. And this is a total body workout, so we're gonna hit the total body throughout the 10 minutes, but first we're starting the lower body with the body weight squats. So what you wanna do is, you wanna start with your feet about shoulder width apart, back nice and flat, arms right in front of you. You can either, you can either have them you know, right in front of you, you can have them out like this. You're just squatting down nice and low, keep the weight on your heels, and then pushing right back up. So kicking your butt out, pretend that you're sitting back onto a chair, just like you're sitting down, and right back up. So you're kicking it out, back nice and flat, right back up. Down nice and low, pause for a second, and then right back up. So you're gonna do five body weight squats. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two, we're gonna go down on the ground and we're gonna start doing some offset push ups. So from down here, we're gonna have our feet on the ground. We're gonna have one hand in front of the other hand. So this is why they're called offset, because your hands are staggered like this. So I'm gonna start with my left hand in front, my right hand down by my chest. You to keep your back nice and flat, squeeze your abs together nice and tight, go down nice and low, and right back up. So keeping those elbows tucked in, we don't want them to flare out, because that can cause a little bit of extra and unwanted pain. So just going straight down, pushing right back up. Nice and easy. Now a modification here is you can drop down to your knees. So you can do a kneeling offset push up as well, going down nice and low, keep those abs braced nice and tight, really squeeze the muscles there in your stomach, going down and pushing right back up. So you're gonna do five of those, then we're back up on our feet, and we're doing the prisoner lunges. So with these, we get a little bit of upper back work along with the lower body work we do with the lunge. So you're hitting more of your total body with just this one exercise. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lock your fingers together, put them behind your head, elbows back, and you're gonna start with your right foot. So a nice big step forward with the right, bend at the knee, then push right back up, and then we're switching. Then we're going to the left leg, down nice and low, push right back up. So that leg that you uh, step out with is doing most of the work here. So you really wanna push off that one and the one behind you is just for balance. So we're gonna do five each leg here and then we're gonna switch to exercise number four. Now the reason why we have our hands behind our head there is because it really works your upper back. So if you're you know, working at a computer all day or you're sitting down, you're kind of like hunched over, you know, typing on your keyboard, uh, hunched over, looking at your phone all day long, uh, engaging that upper back really helps just with your posture, it helps relieve some back pain that you have, just so you're standing up nice and tall and really work in that area that is easy to get neglected. All right, so exercise number four, we're gonna go back down under the ground, we're gonna do cross body mountain climbers. So with these, we're starting in the push-up position, so you got your feet on the ground, hands right around your chest area, a little outside, shoulder width apart, and you're gonna take your right knee and you're gonna drive it across your body to your left elbow, and then you're gonna switch and drive your left knee across to your right elbow. So brace your abs nice and tight, so really squeeze that stomach together, drive that knee across, pause for a second, then other leg, driving it across. So you're really driving it across, hitting the abs, hitting the core area, alternating legs, nice and easy. So those are the four exercises that we're doing. I'm gonna go through and show you one round how to do it and then you can start doing it on your own. So basically, what we're gonna do is five reps of each exercise. So you're gonna do five squats, five of the push-ups, five of the lunges each leg, and then five of the cross-body mountain climbers each leg. That's one round. And you can do as many rounds as you can in 10 minutes. So all you really need is a timer or a watch or your phone or whatever you wanna use. Set the timer for 10 minutes and then get into the workout. And just do as many rounds as you can in the 10 minutes resting whenever you want to, okay? So to start it off, we would do with the five body weight squats. So again, go nice and low, weight on the heels, back as flat as you can. Get that chest up, that's three, four. We're gonna do one more, that's five. Now we're gonna switch it up, we're gonna do the push-ups. So we're down on the ground. This time I'm gonna have my right hand in front. So you can just alternate what hand is in front, you know, every round that you do. So this one will do five, the push-ups. And again, you can do these on your knees as well. 
and five. Then we're right back up on our feet, the prisoner lunges. We're doing five each leg. So we're really going up, down, up, down. So we're doing the squat, then we're down to the push up. Now we're back up on our feet. I believe this is number three. We'll do two more each leg. And then we'll be right back down for the cross body mountain climbers. So there we go. And then we're down on the ground. Cross body mountain climbers, five each leg. So we're really driving those across. Nice controlled motion. Technique is way more important than, you know, pushing yourself to go super fast and getting sloppy with your technique. So take it nice and easy at the beginning. There we go, that's five. So that's one round. You just keep doing as many rounds as you can in the 10 minutes. Ooh. All right, so that was the 10 minute at home workout that you can do anywhere. You can do it in your basement, your living room, your bedroom, outside if it's nice outside. Uh, very simple, very easy, four simple exercises. Again, just start small, do it first thing in the morning if you can, and you start getting amazing results very, very fast. So if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button below. Feel free to leave a comment below if you want me to cover anything in future videos and hit the subscribe button because I'm shooting new videos every single week to help you lose weight faster than ever. And if you want my free system on how to triple your fat burning overnight, just go ahead, click the link below and let me know your best email and I'll personally send it over 100% free. It's my way of saying thank you for taking the time to watch this video.